Hello everyone and welcome to 100 Days as a Mistborn. Here we have me and Sam spending 100 days in Minecraft in the Mist, in the Alamancy and Pharaoh Kami mods, as well as other ones. At the end, I didn't feel like the Ender Dragon on the Wither was an appropriate boss, so I grabbed one of my friends, dressed him up as an Inquisitor, and that is our final boss. The Inquisitor battle at the end, only about 5 minutes worth of footage of the actual 25 minutes of footage we actually had. So in a couple of days, I will be posting the full length of the battle, because it is quite fun. Without further ado, I do guys, let's get into day one. Hello everyone, and welcome to, uh, 100 Days of the Malamancer. What are you again, uh, Sam? Uh, what's that story? What do you burn again? Uh, I burn Unique Crystal. I need to look up for that. Oh. I've not read the books in ages. No. So yeah, we're doing this. I burn Bendeloy. I'm not sure what we hear because Alamancy was in the title. Uh, I'm the guy who did the mod review. You actually did, uh, yeah. I, I have a professional with me, the man who actually got me into these books in the first place. There's, there, there's a rude nether portal here. I'm gonna go see what, see what it has. Ooh! Gold, gold, golden apple! Um, protection to. Ho 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 ho! Where are you? There's an OP sword here. I'm breaking three and looting two. Well, uh, you want to kill that other guy? Is it a gold sword? Yeah, it's a gold sword, so I I don't want to waste it right now. I mean, he has a sword. He could drop the sword if he breaks that. So Fair I'm enough. Just doing basic Minecraft stuff. What on earth is this? There's, there's a butterfly. So welcome to a hundred days in this form. I have two. No, it's a hundred days in an alamancer, Sam. An alamancer, whatever. We're also so yeah, we're twin-born. We're twin-born, boys. He's not actually stuck at the game of the he just knows the power. Alright then, guys. Day one to three. Oh, sorry for the audio on this. Sam's audio didn't record properly, so I'm just doing my best. I'm doing my best. So anyway, days one to three. We didn't do all that much. We went into a cave and basically said, this is ours now. We claimed that cave and started building up the basic stuff. Basically, the first couple, the first three days is just what every Minecrafter does. Ah, oh, sorry, excuse me. Ah, yes, yeah, so the first three days is just what every Minecrafter does. Getting the tools, going mining, and just exploring, you know, the starter base stuff. Alright then, guys, day four to twenty. We continued building on the starter base, and we decided to we decided to name it the Scarabellion Cave because it's a cave and it's Mistborn, so why not? Um, then we had a uh, one of many server crashes due to Sam stepping in a bear trap. Um, we <laughs> then I fell into a hunter's like fallout bunker, I think it is, but which is part of one of the mods we got. Anyway, it has a ton of iron in it, so we just stole. All of it. It had blocks of iron. So we just took every scrap of it. Uh, we found we found a village, and as every Minecraft player does, uh, terrorized it and stole from it. Uh, yeah, and um, because of the, some of the mods we had on it, had like a medical center near it or in it, so we stole stuff from there as well. Uh, we then begun preparing an area for our main base. We decided to name it Misting Alley, because if you only have one power as an Alamancer, you are a Misting. So we decided to name it Misting Alley. Uh, the main base was inspired, was inspired by Di Diagon Alley from Harry Potter. The main base was inspired by Diagon Alley from Harry Potter. I got the idea from Green's base on another, one, one of his Minecraft series. I've never watched him, but I felt I should give credit, because I saw uh, an image of it on Google. I'll put it up right now. Uh, but obviously, mine and Sam's will be very, very different, so stick around. Don't turn off because of that. Be very, very different. Uh, we, <laughs> I then worked on the star base a lot more, uh, detailing it with fences and some lanterns. And a, we, we put a cauldron and a farm in there as well. And Sam continued his mining expeditions. So, yeah, we're, we're kind of blazing through here at the moment, but there's not too much. A lot of what we do in this 100 days can be summarized very quickly. It's a bit unfortunate, but that's how it goes. So hey, on to day 21, I guess. All right then, 
day 21 to day 26. Uh, me and Sam worked on the terrain around the opening of Misting Alley for quite a, for the first uh, two days, day 21, and halfway through day 22. We didn't get it fully finished, but we got it reasonably far along. Uh, we then did mining, uh, for, because we needed cobalt as well as gold, but what we desperately needed was diamonds. We had not found a single diamond yet. Anyone who plays Minecraft knows you need three of those. And we had none. So that was quite an issue. Uh, from day 22 until day 26, we just spent down in the mines, digging away, hoping that we could find that ever-elusive blue ore, which would allow us to travel to the nether. These days were quite uneventful and boring. Apart from a few creeper explosions, there was nothing really going on. And I just mean Sam laughing away at jokes that weren't even funny. So I'm not going to embarrass either of us by putting them on air. But anyway, uh, I guess I'll just jump right on to day 27. Alright then guys, day 27 to day 31. To begin with, Sam and I decided that we wanted to install a Seasons mod just to make it a little bit more exciting. Um, and that's why you'll notice the grass and all the leaves and everything is purple. Uh, <laughs> this mod would also get indescribably just so annoying towards the end. But you'll have to wait and see for that one. So firstly, Sam and I travelled to a mysterious building that had cropped up just south of Misting Alley. It was built by a friend who had hopped on the server and had some fun without Sam or I finding out. It turned out to be a small plantation uh, with a blaze spawner down a mine. Seeing that, we quickly ran away because we were not prepared to fight a bunch of blazes. Once we got back to Misting Alley, we began to work on the first shop. The plan was to have each shop to be a dedicated to a villager profession, and at the very, very end, have the canton of resources, which we don't actually know what a canton building in Mistborn looks like, and I've always imagined it as a Greek building, so that's what I went, that's what I was going to go with. So the idea was to have that, a canton building, at the end of the alleyway, where Gringotts would have been. Um... But for getting all the village, obviously, we needed a lot of golden apples to get those best prices. We also needed a brewing stand to be able to get the potions of weakness. But for now, we just needed the shops. So after much gathering work, we were ready to begin construction. It was quite a boring build, nothing too special. I fell off the roof. Sam fell off the roof. A zombie fell off the roof. And I'm pretty sure a creeper fell off the roof as well. So apart from a very unlit roof and an extremely hazardous roof. Nothing really happened, apart from I managed to kite a zombie villager into a boat and trap him inside the shop. So that was first steps, I guess, so that was quite good. All right then, guys, day 32 until... <laughs> All right then, guys, day 32 to 36. We uh, Well, I finished the first shop, and that took until day 34. Meanwhile, Sam was underground mining. I think he, he had to come back once because his pickaxes broke, but apart from that, he was down the mine that whole time. Uh, he did find diamonds, though, uh, towards the end of day 34, which was quite good. We then obviously built the diamond pickaxe, then went to get some obsidian. That took about 10 minutes just to find obsidian. Well, to find lava. Uh, we, we found it, then we repaired the broken nether portal. We then went through. I set up like a little beacon thing. Uh, waypoint, there we go. Next to the portal, just so we get our way back. Then we found a bastion instantaneously, which was amazing. That was really, really, really good luck. Uh, we explored for about 40 minutes, and uh, then we returned. When we attempted to go back, however, the server completely shit the bed. Nice. We can never get back to the nether. So we had to, um, well, we, we agreed that we would sacrifice resources like iron or diamonds or gold um, to what we call the, the nether gods, which is basically just the fire. Um, but we ended up calling it ruin. If you know Mistborn, then you know why. Yeah, so we'd sacrifice resources to ruin. Then my brother would hop online. 
who's, who'd be in creative mode, and he would give us the items that we wanted. I know it isn't great, it isn't the outcome we desired, we would have much rather done it legitimately, but we tried eight times to enter the nether, each and every time it crashed, apart from the first time. But yeah, it was unfortunate, but we decided to make the best of a bad situation, because it was that or never get anything from the nether, and I really wanted like ne nether stuff, especially towards the end. So yeah, sorry about that guys, but I thought I'd be upfront and honest about it, because otherwise it wouldn't really be fair. Anyway, on to day 37. Alright then guys, so day 37 to day 39. Not much here, I went exploring for the entire time. Found a jungle, stole from the jungle. Found Darkwood Forest, stole from Darkwood Forest. Found New Village, stole from New Village. That's about it. Just have a lot of running for two days. Uh, this about the time where I enlisted my brother to get on survival. Uh, because I needed help. I wanted new wood for this uh, misting alley. I wanted, more specifically, the bombs of plenty wood. So I enlisted him to just not do anything and just run around. Just, just, just run about and find the bombs of plenty stuff. He, I never saw him. No, I saw him when he'd come back with the stuff. He was a tin eye, so he got way better vision in the night and stuff. So that was always good for him. So anyway, yeah, on to day 40. Alright then guys, day 40 to 43. I made it home and made some changes to the first shop because that's ugly. That is so horrendously ugly, just uh, 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 ugly, disgusting, go away, ew. I added a second window into the side as well as some window supports. Even tried out adding some signs to add detail, apparently. Uh, I'd actually forgotten I'd done that. Um, yeah, so I never did that again. <laughs> oh no. And then I watched a murder. Yeah. Wait, I then went to farm some blazes, and I didn't have a blaze powder. Almost got murdered by blazes, so that was always fun. I then did up the interior and got it ready to change a villager back to normal. And apparently I stood AFK for 10 minutes. Oh, right, no, yeah, I got distracted by a pheasant outside my window. Anyway, on to the next day. Alright then, on to day 44 to 49. First of all, I changed the first villager back from a zombie villager to a plain villager and made him an armor smith. So I decided that the first shot there was going to be the armorous, the armor smiths or whatever. Armorers? Armor smith? Uh, whatever. I then got my first shipment of new wood and began on the second house building shop thing. It was Umbran wood, so nice purple wood. I thought a library would be quite nice for this, so I could put some clerks in there. Uh, I then found out, however, that the entrance to Misty Alley was actually uneven and too short. There was more room on the side of the first shop than the second one, so I had to increase the side of the entrance to Misty Alley by about three blocks. So, but, but that's fine, that's just a miscalculation. So after making it bigger to accommodate both sides of the street, you know, outward-wise, I got a good portion of the second uh, shop finished, and that ended day 49. It's pretty short, a uh, little update here, so on to day 50. Alright then, day 50 to 60. Uh, we I began by finishing off the second shop, which was quite quick. Oh, actually, you know, that, that took in day 55. I then turned two zombie villagers into normal villagers. On day 56, they became clerks and I quickly began leveling them up. I set up a sugarcane farm below the library or the second shop, which, using Bendloy, I can use to break the ever living daylight out of the village trading system. Uh, so I, I, I did that, obviously. And that's all I really did up until day 60. Pretty quick jump 10 days here, but on to day 61. Alright then guys, day 61 to 67. I began by enchanting some of my gear to get better, and obviously, to get better enchantments. Why else would you enchant your gear? Then I went back to a desert I'd found in my travels, because I needed sand to get some more glass. I began work on shop 3, which I had finished by day 64. That's going to be a weapon shop or a builder sword. I told you that would be coming back if any of you watched my hardcore. My 100 days hardcore. I... Then began work on shop number four, which I wanted to be like this Japanese 
inspired kind of shop. Uh, with like a lot of red and white and like a lot of light colours and stuff. Uh, then winter rolled in and so did the snow. And that's the annoying thing I was talking about earlier, the weather. Yeah, it began to snow hard. The snow would never clear. Even into spring, the snow never cleared. I'm going to have to go and manually cut that out at some point if I do a 200 days. But anyway, uh, after that, I made a gun. Because I could. And they were flintlock pistols. So I want one of those. So yeah, that goes on to day 67. So let's go on to day 68. Alright then guys, day 68 to day 76. On day 69, I finished uh, shop 4, which was the old magical uh, shop. No, that was the Japanese style shop, the red one, uh, the cherry wood one. Then I started and completed shop 5, which was the magical, sh which, <laughs> which was the magical shop with blue and light greys and stuff. That was for more clerks, uh, but mainly just so I could put bro brewing sounds and that and the lake in there. Then on day 71, I began work on shop 6, which was a redwood shop that was for my cartographers, which would be uh, Sam and I's main source of emeralds. I finished that on day 73. On day 74, I did more villager trading, and I did that until day 76. But it was about now when I was realising that not only was the main street of Misting Alley too short, but also the side street was too short. So I began to consider how I was going to deal with that. I decided that when the time did come, I was going to bring my brother back and all of us would spend days mining. But that's not for a while, so on to day 77. Alright then guys, day 77 to day 80. I began and I also finished the most special shop uh, in the alley. I did Clubs' workshop. I decided that Clubs was going to be a Fletcher, I think they're called, the wood guys. Anyway. Um, not only was the shop special, because it was obviously a reference to the books, but it also had a trap door leading down to the Scow Rebellion Cave, which was our starter base. Meaning that it connected our starter base and our main base together, which was quite nice to see. So I had spent a lot of time on detailing the Scow Rebellion Cave with trap door, tra trap door, sorry, with slabs and stairs and taking out all the diorite and just making it andesite and stone. But yeah, it, so it was nice to actually have it part of the alley, in a way. But yeah, well, that's a quick update there. On to day 81. Alright then, guys, day 81 to day 97. For days 81 until 85, I did what I like to call, and I now refer to as, the Grand Excavation. We tore the entire back off this mountain and also part of the side to make room for the expansion of the alleyway. Then I began work on the main attraction of the alley, uh, which is the Canton of Resources, which is going to be the main base, which is where all our resources are and where we're going to have our beds. I finished the exterior by day 91 and spent a day inside it. I then spent another uh, day and a bit moving all our resources from the Scarabellion Cave up to the uh, Canton of Resources. There we go, that's the name. I need to read the script. Uh, for the remaining days, up until day 97, I threw together an additional three shops. All quite bad, so I'm not going to show them too much. I really don't like them. I'm just going to pretend that they don't exist. I also extend, extended the magic shop as well. Uh, only one of those actually had the interior, though. It was a leather shop. But, again, don't like it. Ew, I don't want to talk about it. It's, it's really bad. But, you know, all this likely to change as well. If there is a 200 days, the alleyway will be finished. If, if you're noticing in most of these... Uh, shots. This is not finished. It's not finished. The alley is not finished. I then spent uh, day 97 itself putting black concrete, which uh, my, br my brother had been collecting, on the roof, so it just looked a bit nicer. You might notice I'm rushing this a little, but that's because I need to leave time for the main events. The two weather fights, the becoming of Mistborn, and finally, the duel with the Inquisitor. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. Alright then guys, day 97. It quick, quite quick, uh, me and Sam just jumped into a mine and slaughtered two withers quite quickly. Uh, I noticed afterwards that I hadn't got mob griefing on, so the wither was kind of stuck underground. But that's how it works. We created a pillbox and just shot the thing. Until we used swords and then we just stabbed the thing. So yeah, that was really that wither. The wither fights were quite petty. 
Right then, so by the day, by the end of day ninety seven, we were we were ready to become Mistborn. Apart from the fact that I did not remember to keep enough gold to make two gold blocks to make Lorassium nuggets, so we quickly got some gold and at the end became the truly magnificent thing, Mistborn. And now the Inquisitor battle. The battle with the Inquisitor. Let's get into that. But do this. <laughs> Ten where is iron he? Where is he? Let's go! I am unstop- I am an unstoppable on, on, on. force of nature. Oh, it's, uh, that. How much damage does this, um... Colossus sword does 11. Well, so Colossal it's pretty good, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'm gonna use my Colossus sword. I'm very worried about how much I'm burnt. Okay, I'm gonna take off iron and steel right now. I'm gonna take off pewter as well until I need it because pewter burns quick. Oh, it does, doesn't it? He's, above us. He's, he's, he's on the roofs. All right, let's. He's he's smoking us. He's smoking us. He's going shooting. Oh god, he's caught up. Oh. oh shoot! What's push? Iron? No, steel. Oh, I hit him! I hit him! <laughs> He's on the run! Oh, uh, I'm, wait, hold, I'm wait, putting on the here. Let's go. Okay, hold, let's right, hold on, uh, come, come around to the back of Missing Alley. Cause it, it's, still open, it's still open at the back. We're facing an Inquisitor. Hold up. When I see him, I'm gonna flare him. Okay, good idea. I'm here. Found I him. see it! I have eyes! I repeat, I have eyes! Oh! Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Oh god! Um, get clear, get, get clear, get clear, get clear. I, I don't think he's seen me properly yet. Oh, he's definitely seen me now. Woohoohoohoo! <laughs> Sam, fall oh, back, for god's sake, man! <laughs> I'm picking up coins as I go, actually. This is good. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Oh, draw, draw me away from the alley, draw me away from the alley. Where are you? Sam, draw me away from the alley. We can. I need to. I see him. I have eyes. I, get, I got too fast. I went too fast. Oh, I'm He's gonna failing. Die. Hold on. See that, did he? Oh god. Let's find out. Oh no, 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 no. he's not that. He's on the other side. He, he's actually sitting. He's sitting on the, on the other side. Hey, hey. Right. First of all, we'll harass him with coin shots. Yeah, he's just chilling. He's waiting for us to come that way. Oh, hold on. Zombie coming. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He might have seen us. Hold on. He might have seen us. He might have just seen us. Yeah, he's seen us, right? Yeah, he's seen us. All right, let's go. Metal's let's on. Tim going. Let's go. V. Pewter, let's go. Viva Revolution! Whoa. I got, I got a couple of shots on him with my coins. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ah! Oh no, I, 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 I think a lot of damage. Board. What's going on? I'm smoking him, I'm smoking him. We're getting him, we're getting him. We're holding right. Uh, why isn't he wearing armor? Oh god, I'm up on the walls. Smoking ah. again. I'm gone. Well then, guys, that was 100 days as Mistborn, or technically Mistings. Uh, yeah, Sam ended up dying as well. But yeah, 200 days probably will be coming, so I really did enjoy this. Remember that the full Inquisitor battle, because that took about 20-odd 20, 20 minutes, this was only... 
about five minutes of that footage. But remember, that will be up uh, for you, all you guys to see in about a couple, in about two or three days. So yeah, hope, hope you all enjoyed this. Have a good one, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.